Hello, I'm John. Uh, my name's James John Knapp. I am the sole person at a company called Coffee and Code. Um, hi, nice to meet you. I'm from Akron, Ohio. Uh, so I'm going to tell you about Rust Bridge or how to run your own Rust Bridge. Um, quick show of hands. Anybody here have any like bridge events before? Very small amount of people. Cool. Well, that's okay. Um, so a little bit about me. Uh, so I know about nil in Rust. Um, uh, that's a joke. I actually know none in Rust. Thank you. One person is awake. Woo! That was like the best joke. Like, okay, thank you. Uh, so I'm lying. I have a little bit of knowledge in Rust, but I actually don't have a whole lot. So I am a web developer by trade. I do a lot of consulting work, um, but Rust hasn't found its way into my production workflow very quickly, I would say. And so um, I get to play with it in my spare time, but during the hours of work, uh, it's kind of not seen um, or adding into my knowledge. But I'm very intrigued. Um, I'm also busy. I have two small kids at home. Um, yay, kids, <laughs> and everything that comes with them. Um, but so what I wanted to do was try and find examples of ways to learn more Rust uh, or force myself to learn more Rust. And I found this uh, rustbridge.com. Um, so Rustbridge is a, it's focused, it's trying to be a one-day workshop um, to focus on getting underrepresented people um, with backgrounds in potentially another programming language and trying to get them uh, exposed to Rust and then maybe help them kind of learn some more resources to kind of continue their learning. And so the really cool thing that comes with this um, is they have a ton of repositories and a ton of information and a ton of ways to make it extremely easy for somebody who has very close to no knowledge in the language itself to be able to teach other people that language. So everything is there. Uh, you get an intro to Rust um, materials as well as presenter notes, so how to talk about different things. So it's, it's a brief introduction to trying to compare and contrast uh, some concepts that you would see in other programming languages. Um, there's information for organizers uh, about how to find attendees, about how to find a venue. Um, it references the Rust code of conduct, and, but it also makes it uh, very clear and to the point that these are things that are important and that you should bring to your event right off the bat. Um, as well as some sample applications that you can build as a group. So you have the introduction to Rust, usually as about the first half of the day, and then you can come back on the second half of the day and do uh, something a little bit meatier um, with the new knowledge that people have gained. So what did I do? Uh, well, first step is I found some other organizers because I needed some people to keep me accountable or else I would have just dropped off. Um, so I started using Trello for organizing different kind of tasks. We started meeting uh, possibly every week, um, just in the evenings, uh, remotely. Found a venue and it was able to put down some cash to lock that down. Uh, ordered some cool stickers that look like this. Um, so I am from the Northeast Ohio area, so I did a Cleveland Rust Bridge. Um, created a PDF for bulletin boards. So this is uh, something that I probably wouldn't have thought of right away, but somebody else recommended it to me. Um, so universities like to print things and put it somewhere for students to look at. And so having just like a little one pager is a really nice way to kind of bring in some people. We got some case students this way. Um, try to find some sponsors. Uh, use Google Forms for registration and follow-up surveys. Uh, and then we actually internally, as we were planning this um, with the other organizers, uh, we built some custom kind of applications to play around with uh, that we would then use as teaching material um, for the second half of the workshop. So again, forcing myself to learn things that I wanted to learn um, for the sake of teaching it to other people who were potentially interested as well. Um, we then did some trial runs of the material and kind of talked about our notes in the evening so we didn't look like fools when we talked to people in front of them um, during the workshop day. And how did it go? Well, we got a really good uh, turnout. We got some interesting feedback. People really enjoyed the content. Um, we got this back, so it says the presenters were uh, more than qualified to teach the language, so I had no problem asking them a million and one questions. So this was just a quote from one of the people. Again, I had very, 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 very little knowledge um, in Rust itself, and so I hope that you can use this as a motivation, that if you are interested in trying to make some more people interested in Rust in your local community, that you could think about this as potentially doing um, a workshop yourself. And you can find more information at retrobridge.com or feel free to ask me some questions. Thank you.